Hello and welcome to Monster Apocalypse Configuration Plugin Tutorial Thingy. This assumes that you already have a server working and ready to go, and you just need to drop in Monster Apocalypse into your plugins folder. What you see behind is the gameplay of, you know, Monster Apocalypse and how I failed miserably to survive at the end. But, you know, <laughs> you live and you learn, and you'll figure out what I did wrong to why it got so stupidly hard at the end, and how you can fix it for yourself. So, see you soon. Hello. First off, you're one gonna download Monster Apocalypse the plugin. You want to download it from this little link up here. I'll be sure to put it in the description, and you can click on here to download now. So just click here, save it, and you got it saved. So what we're gonna do now is go to our little plugin folder here, open it, and let's see here. I had downloads, downloads. Drag it over. There we are. We got it in our plugins. So that's good, but now we gotta run it because we still had to configure the stupid plugin, and that's really just the worst part of configuring this thing. That's why I'm making a video about it. So I'm gonna assume you have the server already set up. As you can see here, everything's already here. Alright, it's got the world generated even, although I haven't checked it. Who knows if it's a good world or not. Anyways, start now. And this will just generate the configuration so that you can actually edit it instead of having to copy paste the whole thing over. Other than that, the plugin's been updated a few times. There we are. So now we have a, a folder to actually configure the plugin with, and two files. This one you're never really going to want to use unless you actually have a custom map that'll never be changed whatsoever, and it's just a survival thing. Then you can set up custom spawn points. But other than that, you're probably not going to want to do that, so you're going to open it with this. Alright. So here is the big scary file that is kind of just you know scary in general at least when you first set it up it's it's definitely scary there is a web page you can open up on the side so you can look at everything and what it does I'm gonna pull it over real quick here's what it looks like you can see it pretty much has just adds comments that's all it does and other than that it's not very useful by itself because a lot of it it doesn't really explain very well so, you just have that open to the side, and there is one more page, this one, I'll, I'll put them both in the description, that, because Minecraft doesn't use item IDs anymore, and because Bucket doesn't use the weird item system that Minecraft uses now, this is everything in the game, put in the Bucket terms. So, that's annoying. <laughs> but at least we know what to use. We begin with the world. The worlds you want it to be enabled on. I assume you want a world, so... World. You also have it on world. Let's see. Nether. I think that's what it's called in the. That's not it. In the thing. In the server. Yeah, it's an underscore nether. Because you might want it enabled there. And you also might want it in the end. Let's actually have this open this time so I can see what name it is. Dude. That's the whole thing. Yep. So you want it on all worlds. So that's nice. Uh, let's see. Automatically overwrite relevant parts to config to zombie apocalypse for next run. So this is a default config that I actually didn't know existed anymore, but I guess it automatically sets it up. So if you want a quick setup and just have it be zombie apocalypse, set this to true and restart the server. All you have to do is reset this to true, and the whole thing will be set up for your zombie apocalypse. Now, as nice as that is, that's not what we're doing here. We're going through this whole thing and manually configuring this. So always night. Self-explanatory. Do you want it to always be night? I, I don't. So, yeah. So here's Nightmare Mode. What it does is, well, let's set this to actually something point oh. Has to be a point oh or point something because it's a floating point number, which basically means it has to be a decimal. So this is how many ticks between each update. So I'm going to look up how many ticks are in a day for Minecraft. Alright, so that's actually half a day in Minecraft, so that we can see it a little bit easier. And this is how much, uh, how many monsters spawn each time. Well, the spawn multiplier is all that is. And exponential. This changes how it works. There's a good web page on this. I also put this in the description. Whole lots of stuff to throw in the description for you all to look at. This one's kind of self-explanatory, but it doesn't explain exactly how it does it. The biggest way to check between what exponential does and what it doesn't is right here. 
So let's say that 20 monsters spawn each time. So let's see here. So 20, and it goes up to 40 because it's multiplied by 2. But then 40 gets multiplied to 80 when it's multiplied by 2, and that's just exponential mode true. But on here, 20 goes to 40, that's how it begins always. But then 40 goes to 60, even though it's supposed to be multiplied by 2, because it's multiplying this by 2. We're really just adding this to it every single time when this is false. And that's 2. Um, better way to explain it is it's only multiplying this by 2. It's not multiplying anything past it. This one is going with it every single time. Alright. So let's not have that exponential because that makes it makes me cry. New event system. Um, I'm going to say you're going to have this true. You're probably going to run into bugs. So don't do that. Check for Diego permission. This, I think, has to do with World Guard, which I'm not using. But basically, if you have a zone where monsters can't attack you, this will check that for this plugin as well. Enable natural hostile spawns and natural passive spawns. With what we're doing, we're going to have this true. This just lets things spawn normally. Quote, unquote. You can still change it later on. Enable spawn points. This is if we want to do a map specifically for spawn points. And also the map probably isn't going to change with this. Allow monster apocalypse installation to register spawn point command. You're going to want this to true unless you specifically need spawn point for something else. One second, I'm going to make this bigger. Alright, made the font bigger. Looks nicer. <laughs> Enable bonus spawns and naturalistic bonus spawns. Um, bonus spawns. So bonus spawns and naturalistic bonus spawns. Essentially similar, but one major difference and actually has to do with this config down here. This config is not laid out well. So bonus spawns everywhere, there's always an amount of monsters that spawn for every certain player. So for example, we can set the amount of monsters to 8 per player, so if there's only one player on, only 8 extra monsters spawn, but there's 15 players on, then you get a nightmare of, what, 140, I think? No, 120. I can't do math. 120 monsters total that just spawns. And the naturalistic bonus spawns is a little bit different, because if you're at the center of the world, which is why it asks for this, it doesn't spawn as many. But if you're further away from the center of the world, all of a sudden it spawns back at full force. So that's the difference here. And also you can set this to wherever you want it to be. Hard cap and all mob spawning, just a maximum amount of monsters and animals and squids and whatever else. Only enable bonus spawns in one world. So if you want it to only spawn in one world, which I am actually going to set to true, then it'll only spawn in that one world. And bonus spawn world name... Here it will just be world, which is the regular world, unless you set it to something weird. Only enable naturalistic bonus spawns on one selected world. Well, this one you can also set true or false or whatever. Let's see, I turned on naturalistic bonus spawns, so I'll also set this to true. And then this is essentially identical to that one, just for naturalistic bonus spawns. Enable spawn flag checks for world guard. Well, if you have world guard, then it checks the spawn flag, if it's there, so that things can spawn. I'm pretty sure. Spawn individual wave mobs in the same spot. This has to do with bonus spawns. And if it spawns a group of monsters per player, it'll spawn all the mobs in the same exact spot. Which could be useful for swarming, but other than that, no. So I'm just going to have it false. Spawn... Uh, wait, I just totally looked at the wrong one. Enable bonus spawns in midair. Useful for gas. Pretty self-explanatory in what that does. Just has them spawn in midair. Enable custom monster health. I'm going to set this to true, and it's self-explanatory. Custom monster damage, lets you change the damage. Damage flag checks for world guard again. Uh, if you have world guard, things can damage you if you have that true. And you have that world guard flag. Enable ender dragons destroying blocks. Self-explanatory. I'm going to have that false. Enderman picking up blocks. Also some self-explanatory. Custom monster explosion properties. This one, actually, besides changing the blast radius, it can also change if it sets things on fire or not, which is also really cool, so that their wooden houses do not hold up. <laughs> no more wooden houses. Enable spawning changes. You're probably going to have that to true, or else you're not going to be able to change spawning. Enable custom monster drops. I'm going to set this to true, so that I can pretty much make things drop more stuff because they're harder. Enable monsters destroying nearby torches. I'm going to have them destroy all my light. 
or, or at least torches. Naval monsters attack you from a massive range. Well, makes it so they attack from really, really far away. This is separate from skeletons, actually. Skeletons are on a completely different thing. Minimum distance sprint with a custom speed. So that monsters can actually sprint after you, and that's the amount of distance they sprint, at least by a minimum. I'm going to keep it as is. Mega aggro range, 160. Mega aggro range Y, 80. So how far away they can see you. <laughs> 160 blocks is very, very far. Use daytime mega aggro range. So at day, you can have it so they have a separate range, which I'm going to set to true and set that to 120 and 40. So I don't actually, I'm going to set it to 50 so they don't see you as far. Enable zombies attacking walls. This actually allows for some really fun stuff where they can tear down your <laughs> walls. Nothing else I can say about that. Wall destruction sounds and wall hit sounds. You might want that to true. I'm going to turn off actually hit sounds because that gets really annoying. Enable pig zombies attacking walls. You can set it so only pig zombies can break down walls, and that makes it a little bit more fun, or f not. It really depends. I'm going to set it so they actually can't. Drop the block item when the zombie destroys it, and set that to true, so that when they destroy my diamond blocks, they won't actually destroy it forever. World Guard flag, Enderman Grief. So it actually, this one uses that World Guard flag to check to see if the zombie can destroy a wall or not. It's essentially the same category as Enderman Griefing, so... You might not want that to happen. Enable monsters nerd pulling. These names, air bridging and nerd pulling. Nerd pulling is just stupid, but air bridging actually makes sense, but <laughs> crack me up. So it tells you exactly what they're doing. Building straight up or building across gaps. I'm going to have them, this just applies almost directly to monster, or zombies only. But I'm going to set it so I can do both of them. And I'm going to set that to true so they don't build stupid towers everywhere. And also so it makes mounds of stuff instead of just a one by one tower all the way to the sky. Minimum frustration period before nerd pulling or air bridging. So this is how long zombie will be unable to get you before it builds straight up or starts trying to build a little pathway to you. Block to use for monsters building. This one you can change. This one you're only going to use the bucket material list. Really helpful. Make wolves aggressive. I'm going to set it to false so you can tame those wolves and help you. Other than that, it makes us a wolf spawn aggressive. Make zombie and pigmen aggressive. They are going to hate you forever. Make zombie pigmen use mega aggro. They are going to hate you for a long time. <sighs> Name a ward guard creeper explosion flag to check for creepers, gas, and death explosions. Um, because I don't have world guard, I'm going to have that false again, but you're probably going to want this to true, because if you disable explosions, you probably want to actually disable explosions instead of have it explode stuff anyways. Check block spawn blacklist. So, deny spawn on certain blocks. That'll be later on. You can figure it. Invert block spawn list. Make it a white list. Self-explanatory. Enable monster on hit potion effects. So you can make it so things, when they hit you, give you potion effects. Kind of like the mini spiders, cave spiders that hit you and give you poison. Enable all monster properties. This is kind of a strange miscellaneous category. I'm just going to set this to true in case it messes with things. All right, now time to actually hit some numbers. Bonus monsters per player. I'm going to set that to six. So that's six monsters spawn. Percent chance of spawning a monster in a bonus wave. So you can set this to, for example, 10, and set this to 90%. This is a percentage. So that, on average, you'll only get nine monsters for every player. But I'm going to set this back to six, and set this back to 100, so that I always have six, no matter what. This deals with light levels of what they spawn at. I'm actually going to increase this to 9. Oh, no, I'm going to keep it at 7, actually. And this has to do with how far away they spawn. I'm actually going to set this to 16. They spawn close now. And 60. No, they don't spawn far away. Bonus spawn Y offset. How far off the ground they'll spawn. So in this case, I'm going to have it at 0. So if they spawn in a cave, it doesn't spawn them into ceiling. Because that kind of screws things up. Bonus spawn period. How often they spawn, I've set it to that much. <laughs> Number of mobs to spawn in a spot I've found. So for bonus spot, you're probably just going to have it to one unless you want to spawn two or three or something like that. Bonus distance max scale. I'm not entirely sure what this has to deal with, but I think it's for... 
like the maximum amount of mobs that spawn when you get away from spawn, but this is regular bonus spawns. So I'm going to keep this at default. <laughs> There's some things in here. This is not on the config page. So some of this is just not explained at all. Max bonus distance from spawn before max spawns. Okay, never mind. Yes, bonus spawns apparently can have their maximum spawns change depending on how far away you are from spawn. So at 1.0, it's just spawning, you know, 1.0 from just 8 or 6. What I have it there, so 6 monsters once you get to the maximum distance here, which is at 0, so anywhere it spawns 6 no matter what. Naturalistic bonus spawns, mob attempts, or tick. So, natural bonus spawn. So how many times a natural bonus mob will spawn? Tick period for bonus natural spawns increases to drastically slow spawning. This is how long it waits in between each time it tries to spawn a bonus wave. So it kind of explains what it does, drastically slow spawning in general. Minimum naturalistic bonus spawn distance. I'm going to have this pretty much identical to regular bonus spawns, which I can't find. So I'm going to set it to something. 87. Okay, and then minimum, maximum, why, how high off the ground it is. Naturalistic distance max scale. And this one, so it actually, you have to get 3,000 blocks out before you hit the max spawns. Which for me, I'm just going to set it back to zero because, you know, I'm like that. Automatically remove mobs who spawn in blocks. You know, that can be really annoying because then they'll just kind of die in a block. So you can set that to true. And this one is, this is actually a really fun option. Milliseconds required between damage. So you can spam click if you set this low to like 100. So you can just spam left click and you'll hit them every time instead of having to wait. All right. So here's the bonus spawns and then naturalistic bonus spawns. I think in the same one. Yeah. Naturalistic bonus spawns and regular bonus spawns. I'm going to set them to the same just to make it easy, because configuring this thing all the way through is not fun. So we're going to set it so we can spawn blazes. Blazes are fun, and this is a percentage. Make sure for everything you set true, and the chance percentage here, it all adds up to 100. Because if it doesn't, then bugs. Bugs will come for you. Let's see. Cave spiders, those should also spawn. Creepers. Yeah, why not? Oh, not 101, just 10. Enderman, they're coming for you. I'll go look over these percentages later. All right, let's look at the percentages. 30, 40, 55, 75, 85, 100. All right, so that we have things spawned now and because the bonus spawns and naturalistic bonus spawns use the exact same layout, just copy paste it. Here's naturalistic, uses the exact same layout. How easy is that? Paste. There we are. So, pretty much indiscriminate towards my bonus spawns. They're both the same. At least here. Monster properties. Change the properties of monsters. How explanatory. So, this one's for some really basic properties. You don't want to make case spawners attack from far away. I'll make them do less damage, actually, but they're going to do some nasty poison. Actually, no. I'll make them do more damage, but have less health. How nice am I? Blazes will make tougher. That's about it. Let's see here. Creepers. Let's make it so they're just as fine. Make the explosion radius higher. Higher. Much higher. All right. Oh, and make it set fire to things. And also attack far away. Endermen. I'm going to keep you the same, but you do not burn in sunlight. Or apparently. Really, for Endermen, this makes it so they don't teleport away from you. They can do the same damage. Be as OP as they want to be. Ghast. Well, you know, those only spawn in another. <laughs> but they are configurable. Let's make it so they take more than one arrow shot. 
probably still more just one arrow shot, but you know, whatever. Oh, and uh, slightly more annoying. Let's see if we can find pig zombies. Um, you guys are already pretty OP, so you can stay where you are. Silverfish, they don't spawn very often, but it'll make them annoying. Skeletons, these ones turn into horror shows. They really do. I'm going to keep them just as they are. I'm going to make it so they do burn in sunlight, because they are really OP if you set them up right. Spiders, let's make them slightly harder and annoying. Actually, really annoying. And make them mean. <laughs> Villager, squid, tamed wolf, wither. Nope. With a skeleton, yes. Wolf. I'll make you tougher. Zombie. Let's make you definitely tougher. You guys won't burn in sunlight. You'll just be annoying. Advanced monster properties. This is when you get into some really, really cool stuff. True damage completely ignores armor. If they ignore armor or not for their damage, Explode on death. Do they explode on death? Pretty self-explanatory. Does a death explosion cause fire? Also self-explanatory. The death radius. I think this is in blocks. Spawn new mob on death. Uh, <laughs> really, really mean self-explanatory stuff. The spawn type, the spawn count, the spawn chance, all the stuff. And immunities. Which, for this case, you guys are immune to fire and lava. Which you are normally, but I'm going to make you specifically immune to it. Uh, let's see here. Cave spiders. Let's do something special with them. Okay, they do. They will spawn a new mob on death. It'll be a cave spider, and it's a 10% chance that it just respawns itself. So you'll deal with that. Oh, and because of spiders, they don't take fall damage. Oh, and unhit potion effects. I don't know why it wasn't there for blazes. But let's get one on here. So here, you can see here. How exactly it'll work. So in this case, they will give confusion. That actually sounds like a good thing. Then they're also going to poison us because they're spiders. I'm going to take a look at this and see if it's actually poison. Hey, look at that! I found a new website or web page that gives poison effects. For example, there was confusion right there. But for this guy, we're going to have him do poison. See here. Yeah, it's just poison. Alright, so that'll also be in the description so you can look at your potion effects. Duration ticks. Let's look at 20, amplifier 2, and it's about 90.0. Should almost guaranteed to give it. I'm actually make it give it for a little bit longer. Alright, there's your poison. Chickens, making it explode on death. I'm so tempted, but I'm not going to. Actually, I'm tempted too much. It won't cause fire and it'll be a tiny explosion, but still, it will, it will explode. <laughs> they can make it spawn five chickens. That'd be great. Uh, cows, nothing. Creepers. This actually has a little bit of extra configuration. Mostly about nerd pull, near bridges, and run speed. I'll make them run fast. <laughs> explode on death. How about creepers do explode on death? They don't cause fire and it'll be a relatively small explosion. And they won't spawn anything on death. They'll be not immune to anything. And they're not going to nerd pull. They're going to be regular all things. Ender Dragon. <laughs> I can be a complete jerk with this and said this is true. Ender Dragon. True. They cannot be hit by projectiles. That would be the worst. There you go. Mean ideas for all your mean things you want to do. <clears throat> Enderman. Set it to... Let's see. What can I do with an Enderman? Maybe nothing. I don't see any reason to do anything special with them, so let's keep them as is. Ghast, nothing special. Giant, nothing special. I'm going to get rid of that so it doesn't affect anything. Horses, iron golems. Apparently I can have them do a potion effect. Mushroom cow, ocelot, pig, pig zombie. All right. This one. There is an extra thing for this one. Spawn with standard equipment. So they spawn with their gold sword. It's generally standard equipment. Skeletons also have this flag, which makes them spawn with their bows. And I think also with their skeletons. So they spawn with stone swords there. 
Anyways, let's see. I don't think there's anything I want to do with you. So, you're going to stay as is. Sheep, silverfish. Just get rid of you so you don't screw up things. Skeletons. These guys. <laughs> look at all the extra configuration. I'll get to them soon, but for now, I'm going to take a look up here. Yeah, there's nothing I want to do. Nothing really. Standard equipment, yeah. None of that stuff. Super arrows. So they shoot from extremely far away with their amazing Counter-Strike Pro sniper skills. Yes, they will. Super arrow, period. How long does it wait between each shot? I think this is actually in milliseconds. I believe. Which is kind of strange. So every five seconds. That's nice. The chance of it shooting a super arrow, 100%. XZ attack range, how far, you know, in X and Z, which is horizontal, will they shoot you? Set that to 30. How far Y? So if you nerd pull up to, or just, you know, one by one tower all the way up to infinity, they'll still shoot you. So yeah. And also make them explode if you want to be the worst, which they will certainly do. Make it 1.1. Player protection radius. I'm not entirely sure what that does. I'm pretty sure if you get close enough to a skeleton, it won't do super arrows. So there's that. Or if you get far enough away. Arrow chance to explode on collision. I always set that to 50, so it's not going to explode every time. Oh, and it will set things on fire. <laughs> Mass aggro run speed. This make you not as horribly mean as creepers, but still fast. Alright, off to spiders. This one, I actually had an idea for. True, it'll be cave spider. It'll spawn four. So when you kill a spider, you get a bunch of little cave spiders everywhere. It's mean. And it's awesome. Let's see here, let's get rid of you. Uh, you are gonna have the wither effect. Oh shoot, let's bring you back so that I can actually edit it. All right, let's go look. It's called, yeah, just straight up called Wither. It'll last for 60 ticks, three seconds. Just, you know, Wither and 50% chance. So here, there's that. Oh, I'm gonna copy paste you down here for Wither Skeletons. Yay. Okay, Wither Skeletons, what will you guys do? They do have their things. Standard equipment. To fire super skeleton. Skeleton super arrows. I wonder if wither skeletons be normal, so <laughs> there's that. Wolfy wolves. Eh, they can be normal. Zombies. Zombies I'm going to have to set some stuff up for. So they'll run fast also. Attackable blocks. This can get nasty if you want them to actually attack everything, but I'm, I don't need them to attack everything, so <laughs> they can stay as they are. Explode on death. Nope. 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 None of these things. They don't need immunities. But they are going to do these things. They're going to build their way to you. Build nice little towers and hit you. Use new zombie destruction method with lock HP. You're probably going to want that to true so that, you know, things don't break because the old method, there's a reason it's an old method, I guess. Attackable blocks. Okay, I'm going to set it so they only break dirt Smooth stone and grass. That's the only things they'll break. Just to prove that it works. <laughs> because I don't I don't want to set this up. Are you kidding me? This is really annoying to set up. Let's see here. Cobblestone. Or sure, cobblestone too. Five seconds. Okay, smooth stone, dirt, grass. I think this would just be stone. Let's find out if I was right. Yeah, I was right. That'll take two seconds. That'll t Actually, no. That'll take two seconds. That'll take three seconds. That'll be five seconds. And that'll be eight seconds. Because, you know, you make them slightly stronger than monsters. Alright, so there's that. And you can do this with everything on this page. Literally everything. Even other things. Some of this is named kind of weird, actually, so... Sorry about that. This bucket, I screwed things up. Sea lantern. Alright. Let's put you back. 
And let's continue on our way. Natural spawns. So they spawn naturally. I'm going to set it so to not mess with this kind of stuff. There are some things on here that will certainly never spawn naturally, but they're on here anyway, such as blazes. So, I don't know why they're on here. But for natural spawns, so this is how they spawn normally. If you really wanted to mess with people, spawn two zombies for every zombie. Spawn count is how many it spawns each time. Spawn chance is the chance of it actually succeeding in its spawn. Spawn Y min, spawn Y max, the minimum and maximum altitude, and replacement. If you want to spawn something else instead of that, you can just set it there. So I'm just going to change that one thing and then scroll my way down. If I ever see a wither spawn in an overworld, naturally, I'm going to be confused. Okay. <sighs> this part is not actually stupid hard, but, you know, takes a while. So bats uh, don't draw. Actually, there's this. Overwrite question mark and change it to whatever. If you have this to false, it'll spawn them normally. If you have it to true, it'll spawn other stuff. So, for example, bats, they don't drop anything anyways, but I'm going to have them to false, so I don't have to change that. But for creepers, I do have them spawn stuff, such as gunpowder. Or sulfur. Here we are. Stupid bucket with your namings. So they'll drop sulfur. They'll drop one. And they have a 50% chance to spawn. Let's have it do it three times. So that on average, we will get two sulfur, I think. It's more like... One and a half, I think, was closer to. Yeah, it's closer to one and a half, I believe. I don't know. Statistics is weird. No half of them also spawn. I keep hitting my microphone. All right. I'll have them also spawn. All right. I'll also have creepers spawn this. Iron ingots. One seventy-five point zero percent chance I would spawn just the one, I guess, on average. Set that to true. I'm gonna have everything I change to actually spawn that because it's nice. All right, Enderman will spawn, you know, Ender pearls. And, okay, you might have noticed I did something here. Instead of just saying sulfur 350, I did sulfur 150, then sulfur 150 again, then sulfur 150. If I were to do something like enderpearl 250, it has a 50% chance to spawn two enderpearls or no enderpearls. There's no way to get just one enderpearl. So instead, I'm going to set it to be like that. And if you still want it to be a 50% chance to get two enderpearls, you're going to have to do some statistics. Because with this chance, you're almost guaranteed to get one. But to actually get both, you would have to, it's a 25% chance to get both, and a 25% chance to get nothing, and a 50% chance to get one is how this statistics ends up working out to here. So, there's some things to keep in mind. Okay, just get that iron ingot and still keep it going. All right, there's skeletons. Added a bunch of stuff, such as bones, more bones. Why did I add more bones? I was going to do something else. They dropped bones. Arrow, that's what they dropped. I don't know why I did that. Alright. So that's fixed up. Spiders. Okay. They drop string and spider eyes, I think. Is that it? Yeah. Alright, they're spiders. And because they have eight eyes, <laughs> made it spawn generally eight times. In reality, there's only going to be like three of them spawning, maybe. You're not going to get all eight unless you're really lucky. Zombies. These guys are actually going to drop, you know, their iron ingot, whatever, normally. <laughs> well, normally, but actually a few times. Because zombies are going to be actually just one, because they're everywhere. <laughs> I want to do something special with zombie drops, though. I think enchanting things. Uh, What are they called? Bottle... Experience bottles, what it's called here. Strange names. If I could, you know, select it. So they drop experience bottles. Yay! Oh, and they also should drop rotten flesh. Whoops. 
Let's get that rotten flesh going. Yeah, there it is. Copy paste that all the way down as much as I want. And oh, and they'll also drop food. Let's actually make them drop steak. Because, or you know, cooked, I think cooked beef, as this calls it. Stupid naming, stupid, stupid. Thanks, Bucket, for making this hard. So each zombie you kill has a good chance of giving you cooked beef. Uh, pro Minecraft tip, only for this. <laughs> Let's take that. I'm actually going to copy this over to a few other pe few other things. Both of these, for example. <laughs> Blazes. Blazes are nice. Make sure you always change overwrite the true or else it just won't do it. Also cave spiders. I'm just going to go down and do it to all the things. Chicken, cow, under dragon, giant horse, and golem, magma cube. Yeah, scroll, scroll, scroll. Set you to true. Scrolly, scrolly, scroll, scroll, scroll. Set you to true also. Oh, wait. <laughs> Don't set you to true. You. Wither skeletons, not withers. I'm going to scroll back up and change more settings. Blazes. They drop blaze rods. You know, blazy things. Let's have them drop a few if they can. And baby spiders will drop spider eyes, I think. Just regular spider eyes. And I'll just have them drop, you know, <laughs> two at most, because they're babies. They don't have them fully developed yet. And actually, I'm going to take up the experience bottle and set it up a few times for regular spiders, because, you know, they drop so. They actually drop four spi baby spiders along with them. So let's, let's take that with them. So if you kill a spider, you'll actually get a bunch. What else we got here? Scroll, scroll, scroll. Pig zombie, they drop, uh, I guess, golden swords. Uh, where's, where's the tools? There is no tools. There we are. Okay. So let's make pig zombies drop their gold swords 50% of the time. Because gold swords are pretty useful. Oh, and they'll drop rotten flesh too. Let's just copy that. Actually, I didn't make zombies yet. Rotten flesh. Make that an 80% chance, actually. Okay, I'm going to copy this down for zombies. If it's here, there's those. Oh, wait, I already did zombies then. <laughs> My bad. I don't remember. Wither skeletons. They drop coal. Bones. And wither skeleton heads. You have a good chance of getting a bunch of coal from these guys. Let's make this into a bone. And what else? Wither. Okay. Skull. Oh, I can't actually make them drop wither skulls. I can make them drop regular skulls. But you're going to have to set up custom stuff for them. And I'm not sure if Monster Apocalypse supports doing the metadata for all the items. So I'm just going to keep it as is. And we've actually reached the end of the config. Hooray! So I am guaranteed to have screwed something up along the way. And this thousand lines is stupid. But, you know, yell at me later. I'll fix it. <laughs> Add annotations for everything later. Let's see how this works. See you in the game soon. Alright. So here we are in the game. This is what the config created. Let's see here. Oh gosh, I can already hear things exploding. 
That's a good sign. It means it's working. And also, I need to hurry up and get things fast. I don't think I changed the difficulty. So it should be just on easy. Oh, there's my face. I was actually trying to check my FPS. 60. Well, that's, that's good. That means I'm not horrible right now. The explosions have stopped. That's good. Let's change. Let's change nothing. It's fine. Let's plant things and continue on our way. There's some horses off in the distance, but that's about it. Oh my gosh. I gotta, oh, okay, well, let's see. I think this is actually my best pet right here. We're gonna be in a big hurry to get things done. Or else, oh god, I hear things. I hear things. I hear an Enderman, too. I just need five. Oh my god. I just need five stone. I'm gonna get a little bit extra in case in case things go, go wrong. Okay, they're just below me. Ah, oh, crap. I don't have enough. Oh god, I'm spazzing. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Okay! Oh, something broke. Okay, I'm not dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Oh, lag spike. Oh, oh, oh god, get out of here. You can see. <laughs> I saw that. It hit my face. The, the Enderman's gone. I got, I got a lag spike at the same time. That's terrifying. Sheepy, you drop lamb chops. Give me lamb chops. Oh god, don't kill me. <laughs> Night's gonna be horrible. Uh, oh, hey look! There's an example of a creeper spawning and sprinting after me as fast as he can. And apparently there's caves all below me. Right here. I'm gonna see if I can kill this creeper. Remember, the blast radius is pretty big now. Oh, jeez. Okay, he's dead. I got iron from him. That's good. Eat lamb chops. <laughs> lamb chops are healthy. Unlike this game for my heart. Especially with monster apocalypse. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, this is a death sentence. Just, just kill the sheeps and get out. Sheeps are nutritious. Just kill them all. I really gotta stop sprinting. Uh, at least you'll be able to sleep through the night with all the sheeps. That's good. Let's get a little bit more stone for furnace, hopefully soon. Ooh. I'm all panicky. I heard something. Ah, I did hear something. The zombie spawned somewhere. Remember, you can hit him fast, too. Oh, stuff. Thanks. Okay, I actually have a decent amount of iron now. I heard something break. I heard something break. It was my heart. It's breaking. This game is tearing it out. And notice how the zombies spawned in two there. There's two zombies that ran after me. Because they spawn, because I changed the way they spawn to spawn count. So, that's another good sign. What I did worked. <laughs> oh gosh. Let's continue, continue. Also, they dropped bottles of enchanting and iron. So, that's cool. Alright, I, I don't think I'll be bothered up here, at least for a while. I'm going to have to keep an ear out. And do infrequent patrols. I'm really worried about down there, because that's a cave. Alright. So I want iron sword. Iron sword, good. And I also want... Oh god, I hear him. They found me. <laughs> they found me. I gotta do things. I want that too. And is there anything else? A shovel. Shovel will be useful. And you did hear at one point before a zombie breaking down stone. Definitely took him a while, but he did it. Don't worry. The skeletons are faster diggers than the zombies. The zombies won't be the ones that... Actually, they might be the ones that get you, because skeletons just kind of sit downstairs. Okay. They're slowly breaking their way through the surface. Somewhere close... Oh, I forgot to make a furnace! Crap. Alright. Let's go over this way a little ways. Uh, maybe we'll find a village. Or not. Maybe it'll just be completely flat with nothing. God, I gotta make one furnace, like, now. And also use my amazing building skulls for that. 
Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot they dropped the Pookstay. If anything bad comes, I can just break the furnace and run. In the meantime... Oh, no, in the meantime, this is a little bit more useful. Hey, look, an achievement. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, crap. Something's walking. Oh, it's a chicken. <laughs> hey, I think I made you explode. <laughs> Sorry, I had a little bit of an interruption there. You might now have an annoying cat. Okay, that's that's enough. And annoying cat's here. Stop it, kitty. Ow. Alright, let's get out of here. I'm actually not going to sleep in the... Why is there... Things... Oh. Oh, that's because zombies are digging. That's why. Okay, well, I can follow this and find out what a cave is. <laughs> but I don't know why they're dropping that there. It's kind of strange. Is there anything in here? Anything there? That's scary. <laughs> let's go this way. And off into the wilderness I go, and hopefully not to death, because death sucks. Alright. Sheepy sheep? Sheepy Oh, and cows. I, mm, I'm tempted. I am tempted a little too much. Oh. Alright. No. Is there anything in there? I don't see anything. I see iron. <laughs> I'm really tempted, but it's just not worth it. <laughs> if I get snuck up on them, it's doomed. Hey, pumpkins. They're pretty easy to get to. So let's go get them. Simple, simple, simple. Oh, there's a dandelion there? What? A oh, sunflower. Sunflower is slightly different than a dandelion. You gotta keep that in mind. Gosh, as soon as it hits night, I'm done. <laughs> there's, there's no way around that. I could try building a little house, but this is not going to do me any good. Uh, food. I need more food. What's in here? Iron. Iron's in here. I want it. Oh, God. God, i got to find a way to dig it. Dig. Dig faster. Dig faster. Decent amount of iron in here, actually. Okay, okay, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Oh, it's on fire! <sighs> There's a blaze. And a zombie, apparently. Ooh! Okay, 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 back off, back off. I, I was never in here, I was never in here. I was never in there. Oh, oh. Okay, at least the Enderman's not pissed. Oh, God, I wasted wood on that. Why is there a zombie rope? What the frick? Did I get it? Oh, I did not. <laughs> that was scary. I think this does more damage than a four damage. Five. Stone sword's better? Oh, crap. I thought gold was better. Uh, I don't need you. Is that a coal? Oh, no. It's... Oh, I thought I beat you up. Okay. And the pearl, in case everything goes wrong. Eek. And everything won't go wrong, because I know it will. What do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I need to do this now. Uh, I have some smooth stone here. I'm going to start building my way out. My way in. Oh god, where'd you come from? Stay away. Are you pissed? You're pissed. <laughs> Okay, at least you gave me stuff. Wait a minute. Oh no, they do. Okay, they drop experience orbs. Just a second, I thought I had to make it manually drop experience. That would have sucked. Oh, I need one more. What was that? Oh, that's a regular pig. I freaked out. I was like, oh god. Night is upon us. My soul is done. There 
There's literally no hope for me now. I just gotta pray. Uh, oh, you sprinted! You sprinted! Oh my God! J just, just, uh, just die! Just, just don't, don't come over here again! Oh God! Okay, well there goes that. Oh, I'm on fire. Okay, I'm not on fire anymore. Grab that! Grab that! Okay, well, it seems I've misjudged the nightmare mode. Ah! Oh, I got hit by something. Okay, game over. <laughs> this is what nightmare mode does, by the way. It makes it harder over time. I'm not even going to try to respawn. I'm just going to stop the server. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Holy crap. <laughs> Make sure you go easy with Nightmare Mode. I think it's actually in... <laughs> I think the Nightmare Mode is actually in milliseconds, not in ticks. Oh well. <laughs> See ya.